This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 5. A Chicago police officer who fatally shot a man in Portage Park two months ago is believed to be the same one who pulled a gun out during a road rage incident. WGN's Dana Rebeck has the story. This road rage incident first reported by Block Club Chicago is now gaining the attention of the Chicago Police Department and the family of Anthony Alvarez. The man killed by the officer now believed to be tied to this heated altercation. Just after 6 p.m. on May 21st, two male drivers got into a screaming match in the 2900 block of West Logan Boulevard. So there was heavy traffic and the guy in the white car was trying to make a left. The guy in the red car was trying to make a right. Since the guy in the white couldn't make his left turn, the, you know, he was just very aggressively honking. I'm trying to get him to move. Witnesses pulled out their cell phones and recorded as the situation escalated. The driver in the white SUV got out and confronts the man in the red Ford Mustang, believed to be Chicago police officer Evan Solano, who is currently under investigation for the fatal shooting of Anthony Alvarez, an incident that just happened two months ago. The police officer kind of with his gun out, um, you know, exited his vehicle, went around the white car and kind of just followed where the other guy was going. Here you can see Officer Solano with a gun in his hand. The other man can be heard telling him he has children in his car. You put the gun on me. I got kids in the car. What we see is an officer who is undisciplined, out of control, and someone who escalates a confrontation rather than following any de-escalation training that he's received. On March 31st, Officer Solano fatally shot 22-year-old Anthony Alvarez in Portage Park. Alvarez was walking near a gas station and was carrying a gun, but he did not raise or point it during a foot chase. Alvarez was shot in his back and left knee. It's absolutely devastating and the family is aware of this, the situation here. Attorneys for the Alvarez family plan to use these videos in a civil case against the officer who is on extended administrative duty pending the outcome of the shooting investigation. Obviously, he's under the microscope from the Alvarez incident, but he still cannot control himself to the point where he is no longer putting other individuals in danger. Clearly, he's not understanding the significance of, the, of his behavior, and he should be separated from the department. We're hoping that the city takes the appropriate action in this case. Police confirm the Bureau of Internal Affairs is investigating this incident, but would not identify the officer seen on camera. Live at police headquarters, Dana Rebic, WGN News.